Hey guys, welcome to Tony's How To's. In this video, I will show you how to use Capacity's app. So this is going to be EP Care's Toyo. But before we start, hurry up and check out our latest offer just under this video. So let's get started. So Capacity's here is a platform or a website where in a you could basically start creating your notes. So it is basically how they advertise it. It's a studio for your mind. So whenever it's for work, for your studies, for your high school, or for your college, well, Capacities here can aid you on taking notes. Now, first thing we need to do here to join Capacities is we need to go to your website, which is going to be capacities.io. Now, under capacities.io, we need to register to their account, uh, platform here or website. So go ahead and click on the register button at the top right here. And once you click on it, you should be able to see the create account section here. Now, in this case, you need to enter your email address and a password that you want to use. So go ahead and enter all the necessary details. Now, on the next page, it's going to welcome you into Capacities. So it's going to onboard you on some information on Capacities here. So go ahead and click on Next. So here, we need to enter our name. So this includes your first name as well as your last name here. And just click on Next. From here, it's going to welcome you. Go ahead and read through that. And from here, we have the notes don't live in folders, they live connected. So in this case, think of your notes as being interconnected. So depending on how you set them up, how you add tags, it's going to be connected. Let's go ahead and click on next again. And from here, everything is an object. So let's just click on next. And from here, let's go ahead and click on next again. And from here, you need to select your first objects. Now, maybe we want to use the uh, section here for maybe people. Now this is, let's go and click on next. From here, we need to verify our email address. So in this case, go ahead and open up Gmail here or whatever platform that you use for your email address. From here, go, go ahead and open up capacities here. Click on verify your email address to verify your account. And once verified, you should be good here. Just go back in here. Just click on let's go to start capacities. And once it started up, we are now ready to start creating our notes. Now, there's a few things that you should remember here. So first things first is that all pages or your notes are actually contained on spaces. So spaces is a collection of pages or ideas that you have right now. So maybe related on a certain topic or all being connected. Well, in this case, we first need to create our space first. Now, in this case, at the top left here, this is the section for our space. So by default, we have the note space here. So if you want to create yours, go ahead and click on this section here. Go to home for us to create a new space. So by default, you have no notes here. Just click on new space here and we want to choose a name. So maybe I want to say this is going to be a sample space. Just to give you an example, just click on create space here. And from here, we've just created our first space. Now, by default, we have the get started page here and as well as the calendar. So if you want to create a new page, just click on new content here. Choose page. And from here, as you can see, we've created our first page. Now, what we need to do here is we need to add our title. So I want to say there's going to be a test page here. And we also have the capabilities of adding icon. So just click on add icon here if you want to add an icon for this page here. So maybe we want to use this one. Now here, we also have the option to add description into our uh, page here. So maybe I want to say this is a test page. And from here, what we need to do is we need to add other options as well. So we have the cover image here if you want to further customize your page here. So maybe I want to add a image here. So what you need to do here is just need to basically drag and drop your image here. So just to give an example, I have some uh, images here that I want to use. So maybe I want to use this one. So let's go ahead and just drag it into here. As you can see, we now have our background. Now, if you want to change this, just click on the image here. And from here, you'll be able to basically change your image. So if you want to create a new one, you could go ahead and do that as well. Now, if you want to add this to a collection, so you need to create a collection with title the following. So if you want to create, maybe I want to say new collection here. So in this case, if you want to rename your collection, maybe I want to say a test collection here. Well, you could name this in whatever name that you want. Now, for now, once we've done that, let's just go back in here. And once we've done that, we're now ready to view this one. Now, in this case, how do we actually further edit this one? Now, also, you also have the tags option here. Like for example, if you want to tag this, like for example, I want to say this is going to be a sample tag here. Click on create sample. 
And once you've done that, as you can see, it's now under the sample tag. Now, also, if you want to add other tags, you can go ahead and do that. It's a great way for you to basically organize your pages. Now, in this case, you could go ahead and type in whatever you want here and basically start adding your content. Now, if you want to choose a specific content, you go ahead and click on the plus button here and you'll be able to add another one. So if you click on the or enter the plus button here, you should be able to add a specific one. Like for example, a page, an image, a web link, a tweet, a PDF, audio, or file, or a tag. But for example, if you want to add this tag here, you could go ahead and do that. As you can see, uh, this is the tag that we added. Now, if you want to delete that specific section, you could go ahead and click on the G dotted icon here. And from here, click on delete completely, click on delete. Now, also, if you click on or add the plus button here, you also have the option to add links, a web link here. So maybe I want to say this is going to be redirected to google.com. Click on add a link. Now, also, you have the option to uh, add other stuff here, like, for example, a code. If you want to use a heading, a math section here, two column, and a lot more. So depending on what you need here, you could basically add them as much as you can. Now in this case, if you want to add an icon, as you can see, I'm able to add them and I can even change it. Now in this case, go ahead and just start adding your content and you should be good in this page here. Now in this case, when you actually go to the pages section here, as you can see, objects here are going to be the objects that we could basically use. Like since we added a Fibris image here that we use for the cover here, that image should be available in this section here, as you can see. Now for pages, this is all the pages that we have right now for this specific space. Now if you want to pin this, you could go ahead and click on the three dotted icon here and you have the uh, other options here like import the CSV, create a new page, create from template, new collection, open new tab, open object settings, delete content type if you want to as well. Now if you want to access the settings for your uh, specific account here, you could go ahead and access the gear icon. So by the way, on the pages uh, section here, you could go ahead and click on the three dotted icon here and choose pen to space and you'll be able to easily access it in the pin section. Now also, if you go to settings here, you'll be able to change a few things. Like for example, your account, your editor here, your language, date and time, password and authentication, subscription and billing, since they have a pro version here. And we also have the back up here and the space settings, content type settings, and a lot more. So yeah, that's about it. So using capacities here is actually pretty simple, especially if you're familiar with other tools or note-taking tools, it's actually quite uh, similar to that. But the good thing about capacities here is you could actually, actually access this online. So as long as you have internet and you remember your login credentials, you'll be able to access your notes anywhere in the web. But that's about it. So if you found this video helpful, hit the like and subscribe button and watch our next video.